<laughs> so yonder. She got some really sick like yonder. Uh, yonder uh, Stockholm syndrome to the max. Yeah, I don't know why she likes him still. I still don't buy it. I still don't buy that she likes it. She's gonna fight her. You probably won't, right? No, no. This is what those, every episode is. Yeah, it's a fight in the first second and then immediately breaks the fight. This is every episode. It looks beautiful, right? So the guy's amazing and then they break it. This is exactly what I mean. Every episode same thing. They have a really beautiful fight for like one, two minutes and then it's like, okay, ten minutes of nothing in the middle and then it's gonna be fighting the anyway. Bam! There we go. So lower on one here. I'm like, yeah, kissing, betrayal people. It's um, an anime where everyone betrays everyone. Right? Last episode was very much like that. Uh, I am questioning my own sanity watching more of this anime. But we're so close to the end, honestly, right? So, his sister, of course, killed his girlfriend, or she did probably didn't die. But Kisara got stabbed by his sister, right? So, of course, that's a traitor. And I called it, right? I called it, means for happened. Oh, sister's gonna kill Kisara, right? So, that immediately how you know, the episode starts. And it's just like, yeah, super predictable. And I, I don't do too much here again, but you know. If, if everything is like, if everyone's a traitor, everyone is predictable. Yeah, it gets like, you know, always trying to basically make everyone a traitor, right? So it's just so obvious. But anyway, for sure. Three Shukun, I'm dying! Demo! <laughs> Man, she's so incredibly badass! <laughs> the nun that's through the superhuman, she runs <laughs> straight up. How did it even work? She's ran, it's ran like straight up by. Um, yeah. Okay, sure. And like flashbacks from being stabbed by it. How does it make any sense? This, this, how could you have the sister flash? But she wasn't even dear. What? That make no sense. Why is she seeing? What was she in the coffin? This is so stupid. How could she get flashback from? The, she's getting like flashback from the sister that wasn't dear. You know what I mean? Like that, that doesn't make any sense. How could she get flashback from a person that was dead or wasn't dead then? But of course, now she's getting like shoe flashback and he's smashing the old ladies. What? Yeah, she's like he's seeing his memories when he was smashing, or yeah, we see, um, yeah, she, you see kick ass nuns uh, panties. Yeah, it's like this, this anime is very fan service when you go to it, right? Yeah, it's gonna nuke her again. Yeah, he's like, nuke! He's <laughs> a satellite shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, there's a very good aim on this satellite beam. Yeah, he's like, you freaking, but of course, she's fine. He like, he basically nukes her, and she's like, ah, oh, she's probably fine with that. Yeah, she you just got a little unconscious, you know, for a f five second there. He like nukes her. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, that hurt me a little bit. Man, that is so formulaic. Jesus Christ. He nukes her, and yet they don't capture her. They just get Kisara said, right? This anime is like, this is so formulaic. Every episode is like, action in the beginning, 10 minutes of dead time, and then action in the end, right? Every other episode. Jesus Christ. It's so formulaic. I saw it episode 3 or something. This formula, it's just every episode. It's really badly written in that sense. It's so predictable. Holy shit. Yeah. They follow the exact same formula, right? Like it's exactly like episode 3 or 4 or 5. Or now it's hospital, you know. It's actually the beginning. Hospital scene, and yeah, it's just. She's S tier? I mean, come on, this is Christ. That was a. Oh, God, I don't know. Am I the only one? The anime is like, she's S tier demon. What else would she be? Or did you be defeated the A tier demon? Like, I don't know why she's like, oh my god, she's S tier. She just blasted your shock plug easily, right? Yeah, like how did, why is that surprise for her? Why is she like shock fact? I, am I the only one that doesn't care about this? Am I the only one that doesn't care about this, this side story of, I don't know, pervy guy and his sisters or whatever? Yeah, do I don't care? I mean, do you care, guys? Am I the one that is so, I think it's so irrelevant. Again, I think it's another good scene example of, but this character through the screen time, right? The Kuro girl here, she's like one minute screen time. So I don't care about them either, really. We had in one fight scene when get owned and then them shooting at them right last episode. And this is yet another scene where I feel, why is there so much time in this anime? This anime is so, I feel, weird pacing, right? Why is there so much time on these nonsense characters? We don't, they has no build-up and like they're not likable. Like, they haven't really developed these characters. I don't feel like... And this anime is so problematic because every episode is a this, right? It's a fight in the beginning. There's a 10 minutes in the middle where I feel it's kind of irrelevant stuff. Oh yeah, these guys are talking, but they don't really say anything meaningful. They're just like, oh, what about Sarah? What about Sue? They're, they're not saying anything meaningful, and it doesn't make the character likable. Uh, it's not developing these characters. They're just, like, they're just saying random words that doesn't have any meaning, really. And then it goes into another fight. Right? Yeah, it's almost the same time every episode. But see, this scene, I think, is pretty good. Yeah, now they're all adorable, and it's like, I promise you, and they're gonna like, kiss you, right? Yeah, this thing makes sense, right? Like, this is, you know, building up in the relationship, and it's a little adorable. And now he sees that, which doesn't make sense that she could see. I don't know how she could stab by his sister and see his romance storylines. Like, it really made it really made no sense, seriously. Like, uh, it, 
Did the sister see him sleep with the nun or something? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is Godfather. Him and Sean have this like romance thing going on. Yeah. I will kick your ass. I will shoot you first. Yeah. You wanna wanna sleep together first? Wanna do it? Yeah. They're like, they have an interest. He's like, you got a sexy, sexy underwear though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> they got some weird romance. He's like, you're pretty hot though. Nun warrior lady. Yeah. You wanna do it? Like, okay. Fine. Let's do it first. We can fight later. Yeah. Let's F first. We can fight later. Right. Yeah. Very, a, a reasonable... This scene is terrible though, yeah, this is even he like poisons her. Yeah, this scene is terrible though, yeah, like he poisons her after they slept together. Kiss syndrome, yeah, kiss her, he's the syndrome. He's the one to name her, you're my waifu now. Yeah. It's kind of weird how he basically forced her to be his wife then. He really is like the worst man ever, man, so he basically is enslaves her, right, yeah. So he kind of enslaves her, basically. Yeah, you traitor! Yeah, and she's all happy here, showing her the world to war. But it is, again, it feels really effed up that she likes him, right? That she, like, kidnaps her and slaves her. <laughs> it is just a weird... That backstory of him, yeah, like, yeah, this is why I, I kidnapped you and made you my, uh, my waifu. Yeah, he's like... The waifu hunter, man. And now he goes like... Don't worry, girls. And now he's like, I got my wife now, yeah, I kidnapped her and made her, forced her to be my wife. See her, or make her his wife voluntarily. She got Stockholm Syndrome, man, like straight up, right? <laughs> yeah, she is so Stockholm Syndrome, he's like, yeah, let's do this uh, ritual thing, and that's like, that's gonna make it all better, waifu dear, and she's like, yeah, let's do it, I love you anyway, even if you enslaved me, and look how happy she is, yeah. She's like, yeah, let's kiss because I'm your soccer boss waifu. This is Stockholm syndrome, straight up, man. She got Stockholm syndrome. Um, this poor waifu, man. He's been, she's been brainwashed. Hardcore brainwashed, man. Hey, wasn't the rate of you do it? He's like, what? Or are we supposed to do it? Like, you know, as you know, boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. Wasn't that the point? Yeah, she's getting confused now. Like, what? I, I thought I was supposed to sleep with you, yeah. Isn't that the deal? <laughs> I didn't like she's confused now. I thought he was supposed to do it. Wasn't that the point? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, why are you touching my... I thought you was supposed to do it. Wasn't that part of the deal? Like, like... Here we go. Yeah, we are enslaved forever! <laughs> Face stop. That face though, that Yandere Stockholm Syndrome, yeah. Yes. Accepting his uh, crazy Yandere wife, he forced to be his wife too. Yep. This is like perfect plan, <laughs> basically. Perfect execution of my seductive Yandere. Memory Lewis says, no! <laughs> but I, I do love it, and she's like, ha We're in perfect Yandere couple now, baby! Oh my god. She's quite beautiful. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I love you back. Uh, but seriously, this is just a weird relationship, right? Like she's full on, you know, stuck in the under, right? Obsessed with him, but he forced her to be his wife, right? Like he kidnapped her, or, you know, unsealed her from her, like, you know, demon prison, right? Forced her with her sword in her stomach, kind of thing, right? And then it's like, I made a ritual so you would be my slave wife, you know? Forced, to that. yeah, he basically, you know, and forced slavery on this poor lady, right? But then she, she likes it, she's like, yeah, master! <laughs> it's just weird. It is so weird. But the main character is so, I feel he's so dislikable, right? But the way he treats her too, you know what I mean? In all the episodes earlier. You know, if he was a better boyfriend to her in episode 1, 2, and 3, whatever, I think Emma would be so much better, right? Because even if he, even if she's a boss and she wants to be his slave or whatever, you know, and she's into it, right? Even if that's the case, right, and whatever, right? Like... He could have been a better husband to her, you know? When, he, when, he, when she's like, oh, you got the power, it's like, oh, whatever, it's my problem, you know? And she's like, cooking food for him, he's like, oh, I forgot to eat, or whatever. Like, you know, he's like a terrible spouse, right? And, that, and doesn't, he doesn't have to be a terrible spouse to be her evil master thing, right? Because the thing is that they're supposed to, I don't know, she, she loves him back or whatever, right? yeah. But it would be more sense, even if you're watching uh, Isekai Horan going on Wednesdays, right? In that anime, he's, he, also, he also, you know, buys his wife, right, you know? That's the he's a slave, right? He buys her, 
and then she kind of falls for him uh, because obviously he's a, he's a perfect guy, right? He's so, so so nice to her, but he's she is so bad to her. I guess she likes it, just a mess, she's something, but not really. So and he keeps sleeping with all the ladies, kind of you know. And it's just weird how why would she like him, right? Because she doesn't seem to like actually when he's cheating on her, right? You know. So why does she like him back? You know, why would she fall for him after he enslaved her? It, it just doesn't make any sense, right? You Stockholm Syndrome, young. But yeah, it's a very strange thing that she gets stabbed by a sister. And first you see the sister's flashbacks, right? Which makes sense. You see her flashbacks, like what she remembered when she got, you know, killed by their mom or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, she was kidnapped by their mother and sent to the demon or whatever. She sees that, or before that, I mean. And then she sees the funeral of the sister. That makes no sense. It wasn't like the sister was there, unless the sister was there. So that's just so weird. And then she has, like, his memories... That is basically his memories, but she's stabbed by the sister, right? And then they kind of explain that, but maybe she was... Yeah, it just feels weird. It feels very convoluted and everything is very messy, right? It feels very, very messy. That, okay, so she can see the sister was there watching his brother do... It. But what of course irks me with anime so much, though, is that it's so formulaic, right? And I feel negative, but I am kind of with anime, right? It started out really well, and it has some amazing Sakaga, right? Every now and then. But I said it already in episode like, 3 or 4 or so, right? The, the anime is so formulaic, and here again you see the exact same formula. So the first reminiscence is right, they're fighting the sister, it looks more like a guy, it looks better, right? They have these fights, and then immediately she gets, you know, satellite, nuke beam, right? And then after that, we kind of have like a 10 or so minutes of basically nothing, right? And I said it almost every review there, I think you can basically remove half of every episode, it doesn't really make a difference, right? So, it, it, it is very, very, very formulaic. So the, the beginning of the anime, and the end of the anime, right? You know, the, every episode, yeah, the first five minutes, and the last five minutes have relevance. The middle minutes are just like filling dead space, right? So again here, we see the perfect example is she gets knocked out into the water, right? And they don't go and rescue her or fight her or whatever. I don't know, they just, just ignore her for some reason. Uh, they can't find her or whatever, right? So she's just stupid. And then we see these other characters. They have no screen time, really. Like, they have no build-up. They have no character development, really, right? Or, you know, no, like, characterization, almost. You see those guys talking for like three, four minutes. It adds nothing to the episode. And then we see, you know, Pearl Brother talking so on. To these girls, it has a little bit, but also kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, right? It's like 10 minutes of that, and then we get to the kiss at hospital, right? And then we see the enslavement zone. And the ritual, right? Yeah. So basically, you can skip in the middle, you can really skip the, the, the middle 10 minutes, and that's almost every episode. But it, again, it's very, form very, very formulaic, because it's always this formula. And that also makes I feel the anime, as the last review, so predictable, right? Because you know for a fact, basically, that this is not going to be a real fight. You know the sister is going to leave or be knocked out after 2 to minutes. It's like the ballet demon, right? The dancer demon, you know, got stuck. She, she jumped through the water thing in, in, the, in the wall, right? And Kisara got stuck in that, uh, you know, pool, right? Happened also after that 2 to minutes, right? Every time they start a fight, then they end the fight almost immediately. Like, that's almost every episode, right? And it's just so it's a boring. I'm watching this episode. I'm watching the, the beginning here, right? And I immediately just feel like, oh, what's going to stop the sister fighting them? What's going to be the thing that's going to block her from having an actual encounter? Oh, it's the blazer beam, right? Okay, I see, yeah. Like, that's every episode, right? And, and, and I, I, just, I just really like that. I want to love this anime, but I just can't, because it's like every episode, this formula is, of course, used. How they so, you know, blatantly is like, pr pretend to have a fight, then they fake out from that fight, right? And it's every episode, right? Every episode does this. I think, like, seriously, it's like 11 episodes, like 10 of the episodes have done this. <laughs> More or less, 10 or 9, I think almost every episode. I literally, it's the first episode probably. <laughs> Something like that. Even the first episode fights too. It happens all the time. Oh, it's so frustrating. It's just so obvious. It's just so clear. It's just so, it's just an incredibly obvious pattern, right? I, I have, it's a long time I saw an anime being this formulaic. It's also why you knew she was going to stab Kisara last episode. Because again, it's so formulaic. You know who's going to betray who around. Um, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below or so on. But I'm just like, the Yandere bit is really strange. I feel it's not very well written. It doesn't make any sense. It's just kind of cringy. And, but it's kind of adorable in a weird hentai way or something. But this is the part of her immediately losing the fight. So they cannot do a real fight as always. That really bothers me, right? And I said, it bothered me like episode 3 or 4 or something, right? And that's why this anime... Trust me too, because I liked the anime right in the beginning a lot, right? But then this pattern, especially there's so many patterns in the anime, especially this pattern, then it's so obvious and it's used every episode, and of course every episode it gets more and more annoying because you see the exact same pattern, right? Every episode. So I'm just getting like, what is ha can't they do something else for once? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Please subscribe, please like what do you guys think in the comment below. Do you agree with me? Is the anime incredibly formulaic? I would say so. 
Adam, I see you guys in hand. Have a great day. One piece of nut. Bam.